Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to evaluate expressions. I'm also going to show you how to write down nice solutions. Uh, so pay attention not just to the answer, uh, but also to how we write it. Alright, so we've got a bunch here. We're asked to evaluate them if n is equal to 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace all of our n's with 10, and then we'll calculate. Now as we replace them, um, sometimes it's going to be really important that we put the ends, the 10 in brackets. Um, so if anything weird happens, just double check that you put your 10 in brackets. Sometimes the brackets aren't important, um, but sometimes they're really, really important. Alright, so our first expression is 6n. So we'll write an equal sign underneath. And I'll copy it, but I'll replace my n with 10. Because n, they told us that n is equal to 10, or n and 10 are the same. So I can replace the n with 10, and I'm going to put it in brackets. Alright, so, 6, bracket, 10, close bracket. So what does that mean? If you have no operations written between your numbers, it's always multiplication. Alright, so if you didn't know that, you should probably write it down. If you have no operations written between your numbers, so between for even this 7 and this n, for example, the operation here, if there's nothing written, is always going to be multiplication. So this means 6 times 10, which is 60. Alright, and we're done. All right, next, n plus 8. So we'll do the same thing. I'll write equals. I'm going to replace my n with 10. In this case, the brackets don't matter. They certainly don't hurt. You feel free to put them in. So 10 plus 8. And that is 18. All right, next one. Here it's n halves, you might think when you look at that. Um, this is also a division sign, so it's the same as n divided by 2. In fact, I would read that as n divided by 2. So it's 10 divided by 2. You can put the brackets, 10 in brackets, but this is another example where they're not very important. 10 divided by 2 is 5, and we're done. All right, here, now we've got um, an extra operation in these. These ones each had just one operation, and the, follow the rest of them have uh, two. So we're going to replace 7n plus 4. We'll replace our n with 10. And here it really is, if you don't write the brackets, it'll look like 710, which it isn't at all. So you really want to put those brackets in there. If you'd like to also write a multiplication sign, a little uh, x, go, go right ahead. Make sure it's small enough that it doesn't look like a variable x, but feel free to put a little times in there if you want. All right. Um, and now I think it's probably important to show both steps here, even though you may well be able to do this in your head. Uh, 7 times 10 is 70. And write, watch how I'm going to write this down. I'm going to write plus 4 here. 70 plus 4, because I haven't done the plus 4 yet. I want every line to be equal or to be the same as the line before it. Sometimes people would just write equals 70 and then write equals 74 underneath. And usually those people aren't thinking about what the equal sign means, which is that two things are the same. So the 7 times 10 plus 4 is not equal to 70, but it is equal to 70 plus 4. So writing it this way, it both shows the order that you did the steps in, and it gives a bunch of things, all of which are equal. A bunch of expressions. All right, the next one. 3 times n subtract 4. So I'm going to replace my n with 10. In this case, the brackets won't matter. And there's enough other brackets that I'll leave them off, just so it doesn't look kind of confusing. So um, this is a multiplication here between the 3 and the brackets. Um, and we've got a subtraction in the brackets. Because of the order of operations, it tells us to do uh, the operations in brackets first, if there are any. Up here, for example, there was nothing to do in the brackets, so we didn't need to. But here we, there is something to do in the brackets. Um, so the thing in the brackets, 10 subtract 4, that's 6. And I should still need to write this 3 here. If I just wrote the 6... Um, and then I multiply by 3 on the next line, it wouldn't be a very good solution because it doesn't give an, um, a list of uh, e equal expressions. Um, so 3 times 6 is 18. So if you're not sure what to write, you can just write down the thing that you did. So we did 10 subtract 4 is 6. And then you can just copy everything else um, that was on the line above. 
Okay, this one here is one where sometimes people are maybe more likely to do um, not a very as good a job of writing down the steps. So pay close attention to the steps here. So it's 35, subtract 2n. So 35, and we're going to subtract 2 times 10. Okay, so what do we do first? We have a subtraction and a multiplication. Um, so because of the order of operations, the multiplication gets priority. So 2 times 10 is 20. But we can't just leave it like that. We need to write down the stuff we haven't done yet. So we'll have 35 subtract 20. And then on the next line, we can just write that that is 15. All right, so pay close attention to how that one was written. Um, and if that was confusing to you, then maybe... Um, Maybe at the end of the video, you want to come back to this one and even cover up your work and try doing that one again. Uh, we'll do one more similar one. H and F are similar to each other, um, but you may want to practice that one again. All right, we'll come down to G. Oh, here we've got the variable twice. So N times N plus 2. So we'll replace both of the Ns with 10. So it's 10 times 10 plus 2. Um, and I guess in this case, these brackets I could have left off. And I did leave off the ones inside. I could put them inside right here as well. But I just thought it might look visually confusing with too many brackets. Alright, so we have a multiplication between here, the, this bracket and that bracket. And we have an addition. Um, so some people would be inclined to do the multiplication first. But we need to do the addition first because the addition is in these brackets. Right, the addition is in this group, bracket grouping here. Um, it's true that the multiplication does involve brackets, but what we need to do when we talk about doing the operations in brackets are the ones inside the brackets. So there's nothing to do in this bracket, so we're done with that. And here we need to do this uh, operation, so 10 plus 2 is 12. All right. And now 10 times 12 is 120. Okay, next. 100 subtract 4n, so we'll replace the n with 10. Here's another example. If you did not write the brackets there, you might think it was 410, which isn't. It's 4 times 10. Okay, so we have two operations. We have a subtraction and a multiplication. There are brackets, but there's nothing to do in the brackets, so we don't need to consider those. So we just think, okay, subtraction and multiplication, what gets priority, and the multiplication does. So we'll do 4 times 10 is 40. So to help you write it down, uh, if you have, are doing 4 times 10, write what you get, the 40, you just write underneath that. And then everything else that you haven't used yet, you can even, if you like, if it's helpful, you can underline what you used. Everything else, you copy it down on the line below. So we haven't used the 100 yet, and we haven't done that subtraction yet. All right, and 100 subtract 40 is equal to 60. All right, so here, the last one, we've got 6n, I subtract 20. So I'll replace my n with 10. I have a multiplication and a subtraction, so the multiplication gets priority. 6 times 10 is 60. Sometimes people will forget, but it's really important to write that down. Subtract 20, write that down on this line, so that each line has the same value as the line before. And then 60 subtract 20 is 40. All right, so good luck evaluating, good luck evaluating expressions.